Hello, I'm Katherine Troutman from The Resume Place in Baltimore, Maryland, and I wanted to talk to you today about the FBI Special Agent Federal Resume. I wrote a blog about this unique resume um, back in October, and it's been really popular, and people have written to me about helping them with the FBI resume, and I thought I would walk through the important elements of this unique resume. There's no other resume like it in all of federal government, so I thought I would add this little YouTube to my blog to interpret what I've written here. So the title says the FBI resume should tell a story of your competencies, and I really do mean it. So let's look at this uh, blog here just for a minute. Uh, Matt volunteered to let me have part of his resume for this blog. He was in the Marine Corps, a vehicle commander, and he wanted to um, leave the military and, and become a special agent. Now this is the outline of the resume for FBI Special Agent Regent Lee, and this is, a, this is an upload, it's not a builder resume, because they're going to give you the format for it right here. Summary statement, professional skills, professional work experience, other experience, and then also you need to cover these competencies in the resume. So this instruction and all, and the sample is very, very clear what they want. And here is the format right here. It is linked to my blog down at the very end so you can get to it yourself. And look at this. It doesn't look like a USA Jobs Builder resume at all. And this is the exact format that they want you to follow. They give it to you in Word, and you use it as a template. And you have your summary here, when you can begin, your education at the top, a summary of employment, a personal statement about ethics and whatever you want to say, and then your work history, and then within this section right here, where it says description of duties, identify your roles, responsibilities, and accomplishments, this is where you write your competency. And you write stories to demonstrate. And I'll show you what they look like in just a minute. And then you put your full education section down here, and training, volunteer, and then there is one other section now that um, I read the instructions again, and that has to do with military experience. They want to know if you're five or ten point preference or uh, eligible for VRA or VEOA, and I'll show you that in just a second. So out there on the column, you would add the word military experience and put your preferences right there. So now back to the blog, and here we go. I want to talk to you a little bit about these competency stories that you need to write. These are the competencies right here. So you would go ahead and fill in the work experience right here, just like that sample I just showed you, and write a little bit about your duties for the job. And then here's a story that Matt wrote. And he wrote a story about flexibility and adaptability in the Marine Corps, and this is what he wrote. And then we edited it so that it was right here. When deployed, I often chose to be the first man on the patrol because I knew I had the attention to detail to detect dangerous situations. So this is his story about flexibility and adaptability. And then uh, here's a story about collaboration. And this is what he wrote. And then this is what we edited. So you literally have to write a paragraph, an example, about each one of these competencies. And when we work with anybody who wants to write this uh, FBI special agent resume, we ask them to give us a narrative for each one of these, an example that demonstrates you can solve problems, you have initiative, you have interpersonal skills, and then we take those narratives and your um, plain resume and we put it together. And most of our clients actually put the resume into the FBI format, then they send the narratives to us, and then we can edit and develop this FBI resume. And here at the bottom of my blog, I have the competency definitions, uh, a whole guide that they wrote on writing the resume, which you definitely want to look at, the template that I just showed you, and then um, our sample resume is here. And um, we use a format called the outline format. And as you can see, it's small paragraphs with all caps. And these all cap words would be, could be the competency words, flexibility, adaptability, collaboration, interpersonal skills, to make it stand out. So you can always go to my website and look at samples for federal resumes. So I want to show you the announcement now. So let's go to USA Jobs and look for the FBI Special Agent announcement. It's still posted. 
here's one for law enforcement or military veterans. so anybody we're getting a lot of inquiries from people in law enforcement, state and local who want to go into this position and i'll click on this one here and i want to tell you what the most important section of the resume is i mean the announcement is so this is a gs ten starting out and um, it's in jobs at fifty six field offices all across the nation now this closing date is um, 129 of 2019 so they're collecting a pool of resumes you have time to do this um, okay so these are the duties of the position they're looking for people who have problem solving analytical skills leadership demanding team environment so you want to read these words and when you write the resume add as much of this kind of stuff into the resume that you can and here you go um, you will interview a subject for an ongoing investigation you'll plan an operation so interviewing is the first verb in this description so interviewing is a word you would want to put in your resume planning an operation would be an important skill to have in your resume and you would use in established and innovative approaches to tackle challenges so they give you a lot of content that you can use in your resume and so they're hiring also educators we, we have a teacher right now an English teacher who wants to move into FBI and we're working on his resume we're doing a lot of career change resumes now for this announcement oh see this is more than law enforcement and military they've got the education paragraph science and technology foreign languages and law I even have a doctor who's applying for this he um, is tired of being a doctor believe it or not and wants to um, go into to this work this is 1811 this is a criminal investigation job series now I'm scrolling down oh there's this template they give it to you right there make sure you do this use their template not kidding that's one of the first things they'll screen you out for is the, is the uh, sample format well they give you a lot of good instruction here it looks very exciting 20 weeks of um, employment as a trainee at the FBI Academy okay and how you will be evaluated so they've got information here about how you'll be evaluated so I was looking for the requirements section the qualifications oh there you go so these are the qualifications here you know the qualifications are the resume man if you don't use this resume format which you will now that you have listened to my YouTube and you looked at my blog and if you want help with writing and editing we do this you can go to my website and and request editing and and packaging of this FBI resume you can go over to resume place and click on this request quote button and then we'll give you a quote to edit your FBI special agent resume so we have a lot of good blogs that you can uh, sign up if you're not already signed up to my blog uh, big story here about IRS hiring a lot of people always um, a lot of good uh, blogs about federal jobs that are available to you so these core competencies this is the definition here so for collaboration they want to see that you can resolve and con manage conflicts you have political savvy you can work with others for communications they want to see that you can persuade listen and interpret share information for flexibility they want to see that you're adaptable that you can manage change this is amazing I am so thrilled with this entire application process if only Border Patrol would do something like this they're having a terrible time hiring because they're not giving instructions on the resume and the resumes are just coming in you know straight out of I don't know where off the Google samples and they're not working out they're not able to hire whereas now FBI has an exact format the exact competencies that they want you to write about definitions of the competencies and then the announcement we just looked at they don't even tell you exactly what they're looking for what they're looking for is can you follow directions with writing this resume and no length there's no length requirement but we like to try to keep our resumes to five pages or maybe even four so read these definitions carefully and write up your stories about each one and then put it together with the resume and then I have samples of the stories here that you can look at so I've done just about everything I can do to help you write an FBI federal resume and just follow the directions carefully use the format write your stories about each one and hopefully you can get best qualified and if you do I would love to hear about it and if you want help with it we're here and you can write for a quote and we'll send it back to you 
and good luck to you with your ah fbi special agent federal resume. i hope you get in. it will be a very exciting career that could last a whole lifetime. so i'm katherine troutman, president of the resume place inc resume place dot com in baltimore, md. thanks everybody and good luck.